Okay, this is uh, Progressive Industries EMS PT30C. We're going to open it up, show you the product, explain a little bit about it, and then we're going to take it over and we're going to plug it into a pedestal, let you see it work, let you see the time delay that's built into the thing. Same way with all of our products, you want to make sure the seal, with the plastic seal there that I just cut on the tab, you want to make sure it's intact when you receive your new product. Inside the packaging, you're going to have your owner's manual. Make sure you hold on to that. It doesn't get thrown away. It has a lot of valuable information inside there. And our, also our return policy information here about if you have a problem with it whatsoever. Our phone number is on there. Our texts are on call seven days a week for you. Call us. Don't go back to the RV dealer. They don't understand the product. We're the pros at it. Let us help you. We'll get you squared away. So we've got it out of the package here now. With the unit, it has a locking bracket on it to where you put a chain and lock to it to secure it so that you keep possession of it. It'll also have a sticker on here that tells you to stop, um, read your instructions and all before you use it. So you're going to want to remove that there after you read your instructions. Up above that, you have the display readout. This is going to be the valuable information. This is going to tell you everything. It's going to tell you your voltages that you got coming in. It's going to tell you how many amps you're drawing, what cycle you're on. And in this country, 60 hertz is your cycles. And, and it's, you don't have to worry about that. But if you were to run a generator through it, it may be of some concern. And it's also going to give you your error code information. And when I say that, if you plug up and everything is fine, it'll give you power after 2 minutes and 16 seconds and there'll be a little red light on the bottom right hand corner that'll be flashing that's when it's going through its countdown after it goes through its countdown if everything's correct you'll hear it clunk and it engages the contactor and power will be coming out we'll be demonstrating that shortly but here's all your error codes right here EO means everything's normal and you're going to get power that little light will blink but if you were to plug up to reverse polarity you'd get an E1 and E1 means reverse polarity and this light may blink once or twice but it's not going to blink long enough for you to ever get power you can sit there for a month of Sundays and it's just not going to happen until you correct the situation same way with an open ground or high voltage low voltage all the codes and all the information is right there on the front of the unit there so let's take it over and let's plug it in and let you see how it performs. Okay, we're now over at our pedestal and the breakers are turned off. Now with the EMS models, whether the breaker's off or on, doesn't really matter uh, plugging up because it doesn't draw any current, so you shouldn't arc. It won't have no arc there, but unplugging, you should turn the power off. In this case, I have the breaker turned off. Now when plugging in, one of the things you want to do before you plug in is you want to look up in this receptacle here. You want to make sure it doesn't have cobwebs and dirt and corrosion, burnt looking and so forth. Then plug in. When you plug in, make sure it feels good and tight. It should always feel good and tight so you get good continuity. Now this unit has a 2 minutes and 16 second time delay and what I'm going to do here to simulate that for you, I don't have an RV here, but uh, I'm going to plug this light in over here so we'll be able to show you the draw on the amperage and the time delay and I'm going to turn the breaker on now and we'll start talking about what you see. You've seen 3 8 flash. All that does is let you know that none of the LEDs are burnt out. Notice a little red light blinking in the corner. That means it's going through its countdown. 2 minutes and 16 seconds it will take and if you watch it, it's like watching water boil. It seems like it takes forever. So what it's telling me is I have 120 volts, 0 amps. We're not pulling no current yet 60 hertz eo eo is normal conditions so in two minutes and 16 seconds i have a light over here and that clicks this should come on okay after the two minutes and 16 seconds you notice the little lights quit blinking in the bottom corner and my light has come on as you can see me moving it around that's simulating power going to your rv i'm going to turn this light off for now and i have a I have a heat gun over here running also so that we can show the amperage draw. You got 114 volts, we're drawing 8 amps, 60 hertz, everything's correct on the wire. And it's going to sit there and scroll this information the whole time. Now we did have some droppage in voltage because I am running a lot of cord in here inside here and it's lightweight for what we're actually doing. But for demonstration purposes it shows exactly uh, how the unit will work. And it's also telling you don't use lightweight cords because you see what happens. Happens, the voltage drops tremendously down at the time. Now I'm going to turn the heat gun off. 
and you'll see that the amperage drops back down to zero because we're not pulling any current. Current is what you're actually using by what you got turned on. Voltage is what's available for you to use. Thank you.